Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? <gasps> it's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, honey. Oh, hey, dad. <sighs> Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but- Hello? Come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened and I need your help. Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. Oh. Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're alright. You're safe now. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is great. It's a new recipe. Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But... Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. <gasps> Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <laughs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're gonna turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm gonna get a 100% score, just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night? <laughs> Holly, wake up! Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. 
now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't going to be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared? Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no. Don't touch her. <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. I think she's in the shower. It's okay, it's okay. Peekaboo. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom! <gasps> oh my gosh! I was just- I told you not to touch her! You were in so much trouble! I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her! Give her to me! How dare you disobey me! I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay. As long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at, because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. 
That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they... Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he... He didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom. I... Come here. I'm so sorry that my real daughter is going to be stuck with you. Ow! I should have never adopted you. Doctor! We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, oh, kid, come here. Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes. So did I. You know what that means. Twenty dollars. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo! <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got ten million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Mama. Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Thank you, officers. I promise to take excellent care of them. Now, both of you, give me your money. You scared her. Oh, did I? Let me see her. Hey! Shh, shh. There, there. Give her back. No, no. Not until you transfer your funds to me. Violet, you go first, since you're the oldest. Okay. It says air. Oh. oh, yeah, our funds are locked until we're 18. You're right, plus she hasn't officially adopted us yet. I will have to be getting those adoption papers. But until then... What is this? A list of chores for around the house. And if you don't complete them, you'll never see your baby sister again. You can't do this. We have to get out of here. I know. I'll think of something. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't, don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi, can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say... Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me... Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're gonna work for me, there's some questions that are off-limits, and that's one of them. 
Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm gonna find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah. I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college, but there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny. I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy. But he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah, you know what, would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any- Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to.
He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo. <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's going to notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please, just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. You just relax. Watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of... Origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. <gasps> Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after...
doctor. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I told you it's too dangerous. No, Mom, I can protect myself because I just... Enough! Now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I, I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking the questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey! You went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but you know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy's sick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I... Whoa. Shit. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean, and you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He, he is, is so dead. dead. I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that. There's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said... No, stay. I think you're gonna want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10k worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? 
No, no men. Mean. Oh, oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're going to have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about... No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she... Oh my what gosh, the... oh my gosh. What is she... Oh what my the... gosh, oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find... What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. 
Hey, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. How do you... Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Then look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser. Oh. Get the glasses. Quickly. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor. Put them on. No. No. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're going to have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good. Please. No. You are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay. Let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they... Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom. Sorry, kid, but I'm going to have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... Strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop. Mother's oh. going... You dead. Oh, my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy, you find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey, hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go. <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's... <gasps> oh, he's alive. There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still... <gasps> he's alive. Mene, send. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana. No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay, there's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <laughs> He just ripped off the door. How did he? He's very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're going to make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um... In private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're. Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. Oh, what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight, and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? 
Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you. You stay back. Oh, You are in so much- I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. Kara? Yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra. An organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Please, don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just- No, I- Zip it. You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning. Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're gonna get me in trouble. On my way, we're gonna party hard tonight. I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go. Um, <laughs> let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's- Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. <laughs> I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean, I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. <laughs> Do you think Mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? 
Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> you may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl, I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him, eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey! Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, Have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. 
Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's going to meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me, so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm going to get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Guess I deserve it. <laughs> see how much mommy and daddy love me, or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> Wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Thank you! What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that, but when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. year. You literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me if you have any information we urge you to call this number that can't be me i'm just being delusional we should give her back now the reward is one million dollars but how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place Shh. let's talk about it over here the number on the tv they said to call it if if you have any information we urge you to call this number i need a phone i'll have to take mom and dad's no i just gotta call this number Now I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you wanna tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? She knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes, and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. 
You two are sick, and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion, exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest, and we'll be here when you wake up. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand? Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is going to work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see and hear everything you do. You can? Yeah, this is so weird. Don't worry, I won't make you do anything bad. You may now begin your test. What are you doing? I swear, I'm not trying to do this. <sighs> Maya, why would you do something like that? Revenge? For what? You need to see this. What is this? A picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm going to make her week a living hell. Maya, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain... Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, Coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I... Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the... That's what you get for being a bad friend. Maya, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh, no, Nate. Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't... Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you... <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate? No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching her hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officer's... She's innocent. 
Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid. What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying. No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Our future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing, and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid, and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future, it changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <gasps> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go. Come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad... I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. 
That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Princess, shut up. So, what did your future say? It said that I'm going to become a princess. Well, hun, it's true. What? You know how I've been dating this guy? Yeah. He asked me to marry him last night. Well, Mom, I'm really happy for you, but what does that have to do with me being a princess? <laughs> well, it turns out that he's, um, a king. So once I marry him, you and I will be... Royalty. I'm gonna be a princess. Come on, you have to meet his kids. I'd like you to meet my son and daughter, Luke and Lacey. Hello. Hi. Are you seriously not even gonna curtsy? Oh, was I supposed to? Um, duh. Hey, honey, next time curtsy, okay? Otherwise, it's very disrespectful. My kids can be a bit harsh on new guests, but they will warm up to you. We are not letting her become our new stepsister. Definitely not. I think it's time for a little sabotage. They're gonna try and change my future. They're trying to change my future. Why are you looking at me like that? I heard what you guys were saying. Oh yeah, what'd we say? That you were gonna try and sabotage our parents' wedding, and I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm sorry. Things have been rough since our mom passed. We shouldn't have said, Hey, it's okay. I understand. Things have been pretty hard for me, too. Your dad passed away, huh? Yeah. We shouldn't have tried to plot against you. How about we call it a truce, okay? Hey, wanna play a game? Okay. Cool, let's say our biggest fears. You go first. Mine is snakes. Oh, you don't like snakes, huh? Interesting. This is what you get for spying on our conversation. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Sweetheart, breakfast is ready. <gasps> a fake snake, really? We're sorry, Daddy. We were just playing. We didn't mean any harm. You're grounded. Sophia, please accept my apology gift. <coughs> you got her a puppy? Yes, and I hope it makes up for the scare you two caused her. Thank you, Your Majesty. Of course. She gets a puppy and we get grounded? So not fair. Well, I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I think my future is secured as a princess. Wait, what? Hey, Sophia, do you think you could help me clean my room? I know what you're trying to do. What? You're trying to make me your maid. How did you- Did your future change? Yeah, it did. Haven't you two seen the movie Cinderella? Do you really want to be known as the evil step-siblings? We're not evil. We're just trying to make our new stepsister useful. I'm telling our parents. If you try and tell them, I'll make our dad call off the wedding. Our parents are in love. It'll crush them. We know. So we suggest you keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is agree to do whatever we say, and... We won't stand in the way of our parents' wedding. Come on, you don't want to be the reason they break up. You guys promise you won't sabotage their marriage? Pinky swear. So, do we have a deal or not? Fine. Yay! Now hand me the puppy. Now get to cleaning. You can start with my room first. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. Me either. Nice try, you're not gonna fool me again. We're being for real, we feel sick. <gasps> <laughs> Help. <laughs> nice acting, I'm not falling for that anymore. <laughs> no, seriously, something's wrong. <sighs> I can't breathe. I think we're having an allergic reaction. Oh my gosh, who would do this? Me. These brats have been nothing but rude to me my whole time here. So today I made them a special meal. Look, I know they're not the nicest, but you can't do this. They will die. It is too late for them now. No, they have to have an EpiPen or something. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be able to find it in time. Oh! The puppy brought me this. Is this... That's our medicine. You have to inject us with it. Oh. Oh. Your Majesty, are they going to be okay? Yes, they're going to be all right. I cannot thank you enough. Mom, you look amazing. Oh, honey, thank you. I'm so nervous to walk down the aisle. Well, don't be. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey. Can we talk to you for a sec? Sure. We wanted to say thank you for saving us. And we want to offer you something for the future in return. 
I was supposed to be next in line for the throne, but I want to give it to you. You guys, really, I can't accept. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah, I mean, you saved our lives, even after we treated you like trash. We're so sorry, and we think you'll make a great queen. We promise to treat you like our sister now. So deal? Okay, deal. Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes! Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. <laughs> Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information at a Okay, hold on. English, please. Look, basically, it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times 2, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you 9. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal! Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ah. Oh. Ow. Oh. Hello? Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Oh. Just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Oh. Help. Oh my gosh, Crystal, here, you have to take this. Are you feeling all right now? Yeah, much better. Good, but about the pills, if you stop taking them, you... You what? You... you die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kinda cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachments. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then, you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, BAM! He's dead. Think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. 
What's your name? My name is, <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big, strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more... alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I... I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I... I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it... it has a bug in it. No, don't... And that ruined my carpet? You'll... you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyways. So you've been single for a while now? Yeah. Huh, you know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I... I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before... I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? <laughs> Don't make me use it. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll... I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three, two, one. No! Run. Uh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait! How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Uh. Well, you got it. Security! Let's see those hands! If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget that.